Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome to Gone Rogue, a show where I help you become a kick-ass bartender. Because remember, drinking is no easy game. So today on this episode, we have this wonderful whiskey, Copper Dog, a new launch into India. And uh, I'm here to talk to you about it and take you through three different eras of cocktails with a super blended malt whiskey. Quickly taking you through the whiskey itself. It is from Speyside region of Scotland and uh, it's a very new whiskey. So I think it's made in 2014 and uh, it's a blended malt whiskey. So essentially there's no grain whiskey in it. That's why it's not called a blended scotch whiskey. It is a blend of eight malts, which they try to keep it a secret, which is great. And the name Copper Dog comes from uh, the bar which was established in 1893 in the Kragaliki Hotel. Let me know if I've pronounced that right. But yes, the Kragaliki Hotel in Scotland is uh, where there is a bar called the Copper Dog and which is the inspiration for this whiskey. Phenomenal. So the first cocktail which I'm going to take you through starts in 1894. So starts with a gla mixing glass full of ice. And this one cocktail is the quintessential scotch whiskey cocktail you will ever uh, notice. So, starts with good quality whiskey. I think Copper Dog works amazing for this one because this whiskey, especially blended malts, are made for mixing. So they are very bartender friendly, perfect balance into cocktails. So I'm going to start with that, about 45 mils of Copper Dog, straight into the mixing glass, followed by some sweet vermouth. This will surely extend the flavors of the whiskey, add some sweetness to the drink, followed by my favorite ingredient, Angostura. About three dashes. One, two, three. Loaded some more ice and give it a nice stir. Once the drink is nice and diluted, super chilled, you can leave the bar spoon aside, get yourself a nice Nick and Nora or a coupe glass, go the long strain, like the Copper Dog. Plug in the Peaky Blinders music at this time. Nice long pour, let the drink aerate itself as well. And now I have some lovely cherries. Add one lovely cherry to the top. And that becomes the garnish to the cake. This one is the Rob Roy. Cheers. So let me clean up my counter quickly and I'm going to show you the second era of cocktails. Slice of cherry. Right, so that was the Rob Roy, right from 1894, really old, the quintessential scotch whiskey cocktail. So the next one I'm going to make is not a whiskey cocktail, but I know for the fact that a blended malt like Copper Dog goes really well into this one. So we start with 50 mils of Copper Dog straight into your shaker, right? Followed by some good quality espresso, about 50 mils as well. Ooh, the salt, but it's perfect. And some coffee liqueur. I choose to make mine, so 20 ml of that. Let us know if you know how to make a good quality coffee liqueur at home. Leave us in the comments and we might make a video just for you. Three simple ingredients. Ice it up. And give it a lovely shake. Nice and frosted shaker. Get a smack. Drinks ready, looks amazing. Get yourself another coupe glass and strain it up.
color looks amazing the froth is there just like like it perfect so you have the lovely froth and you're gonna garnish it with some nice coffee beans on top I'd say let's keep it at three because there's only three ingredients in the drink keep it that way wonderful right so we have these two fantastic cocktails with super super bold flavors right so what I'm gonna do is make you another one which is smooth flavors very much similar to copper dog as a uh, whiskey so I'm gonna start with 60 ml so a nice stiff pour of copper dog into the whiskey glass straight right and then we have we just top it up with some ice for now a nice big cubes of ice in there and what I have here is Granny Smith apples right the most juiciest and the greenest and the crispiest apples you can get I'll keep it aside for garnish and then just rough chop this one so I can use it in the juice amazing So I have fresh green apple juice right there and I'm gonna just pour it over the top. Right? You would have never heard whiskey and apple juice, right? But trust me, it really goes well. The green apple wedge out here, which we left for garnish. Just nice thin slices of that. About four of them. Happens for me. And voila, the mad dog, as they like to call it. Just two simple ingredients, copper dog, blended malt whiskey, and fresh Granny Smith green apple juice. Easy as it can go. But I think you've not looked sexier in the video than <laughs> So let us know in the comment section, which of these wonderful copper dog whiskey cocktails did you make at home? and you may have a chance to win one of the few copper dogs left in the country. It's only available on three bar stools, so make sure you subscribe, make this cocktails, post it on the channel, and you may have a chance to win one of the five copper dogs left in the country. So, cheers and booze out. Eh? Nothing me. That's what you're gonna get, guys. So stay tuned, and we'll keep you posted about the giveaway very, very soon on this channel.